Hi, this is Far Horizon. Welcome to Stage 3 of the Calamari Navy Experiment. I've made a couple of changes to my units. Uh, Warren's unit, I went ahead and removed a Griffin, put in two Hawkmen, and then for Kren's unit, my other wizard unit, I went ahead and did the same thing, replacing a, a Hellhound with two Hawkmen. Alright, everybody's deployed, coming out, got a couple of towns, heading over to the shop town, and about to meet the enemy here. Kind of curious what's in store for us in the shop. A chariot, it's a good card early game. Make me a little tankier, although this is my hero's unit, and I don't really tend to fight with that unit for quite some time, but in the end game it'll be very helpful. So let's see what's for sale. Alright, that's pretty standard from the other shop except for the Joker and the Charm. I'm definitely going to buy a Charm. It's, uh, as in uh, F-Rate's playthrough, I saw there was some ninjas in this stage that could be Charmed. That's definitely going to be a target. Um, we'll see what else is available. Alright, send them back here, get a little bit of a safe uh, liberation. Without the big bonus in money, there's no real reason to liberate a bunch of cities. Probably just sit on this one for a while. And let's see, the first unit here is going to be those ninjas. Um, I guess I might as well try to charm them. Why not take the $30,000 gamble, huh? Alright. Right. Okay, well that's looking quite good. Alright, let's start off the fighting here with a little uh, wizard versus wizard. And I'm thinking they're probably going to go first. And I just want to be cautious anyway. Ouch. Yeah, I'm thinking for now probably griffins are a lot more powerful than hawkmen. Regardless of the agility, just the ability to hit everybody. Especially when the enemy has a five person unit. At least they're not focusing just one person. Still Warren is going to have to retreat in a hurry here. Yep, a little bit of a ramp up in difficulty versus last stage. Alright, let's get some revenge for Warren here. Still convinced they'll probably go first, so not much dodging there. Definitely on leader. Well, a bunch of hits I can do on weak. Might be able to take out the first griffin. And maybe do some serious damage to the mage if I'm lucky. That's pretty good. Back to strong, see if I can survive the rest of this. Except that would have totally taken... Well, that worked out. And I do kind of want to kill some of the leaders here because I'm pretty under leveled. They're 4 and 5 and I'm like 2 to 4. Went ahead and equipped the relic swords. I'm fighting an enemy that does all physical attacks. I've got a doll mage and two golems. Um, I probably will go first with eagle man but I'm leaving on strong because I really don't want to take the acid hit at this point in the game. And that's unfortunate. I was hoping to get both my wizard attacks on weak versus one of the golems and take him out, but that's okay. So I'll get to go all five of my guys right after the, both the golems attack. 22 is not too bad. Relic Sword worked out there. Alright, let's see if I can take a couple of them out. Alright, and I'm going to send them back to strong so they'll go after your, the golem. Always good. Okay, I think that's the last attack. And I get two attacks in a row. At least he missed again. So, I mean, golems have so low agility, so Hawkman, even early game, are going to be really, really hard for them to hit. Alright, this is lands in the golems unit versus a witch. Two Valkyries and two Amazons. So, it's entirely physical except for the witch. So, all I have to do pretty much is not take two phantoms. And I should totally win this because they just aren't very tanky up front. And none of their physical damage units are really all that scary. Well, there's one phantom. I could I could totally lose this. But it's a good thing 
they're not reversed. I guess that's on purpose to try to give you a you know a bit of an easy start. Okay, I should I should totally win this now that Petrify was used. And I'm tempted to go to weak, but eh, let's just tank it out. I don't really need to kill him. My uh, guys are already fairly high level in this unit. All right, find a little bit of naval battle here. The enemy unit already lost their octopus, and now it's just a matter of cleaning up the fighters and the wizard. It'd be interesting to see how much damage the wizard does out here on the water. It's not too bad, really, with the cleric to to tank him. And with the cleric, I just don't think I'll bother micromanaging. I'll just sit here and do as much damage as possible. And I'd like to go ahead and kill the leader so that I can fight him again for more XP. Alright, that worked out well. Alright, finally over here to liberate another city. Ouch! Tower. I'm really hoping to build my alignment up. That's a shame. Well, you got lots of time to, to build it up, I guess. Don't matter too much. Alright, got a little Hawkman versus Hawkman here. Two Wizards versus two Valkyries. It's pretty even. They're probably going to have better sustain with the Cleric. I'll have slightly more damage with the Amazon, I guess. But overall, I don't know that this is going to work out great for me. I do have Warren. He'll do a lot more damage than a standard Valkyrie. But probably I'm going to end up having to get some help. Hmm. Yeah, that's not looking good. Uh, let's see if we can get a little bit more damage and run away after one more hit. Because they're definitely on weakest. There we go. At least... Oh well. Let's hope we need to run away before that. But at least I got one of them. I got another low sky unit to try to take out this Hawkman unit before it can escape my perimeter is once it gets behind me, I'm just not going to be able to catch it, because my only high sky unit is my hero. And I guess, I guess she's far enough back that she could do something about it. I'm just trying to avoid her being in combat to save her levels up till later. And i got to be careful, because this unit's on weak, uh, which could really devastate my Amazon. He's down a bit, but okay, one more magic hit here. Ouch. Okay, so now I think I'm just going to run away. Got two kills, alright, and got another level for the Amazon. Alright, got another naval battle. I'm trying to camp the choke point here to get a bunch of use out of the naval units. Um, I'm pretty sure this unit is on leader, but I'm going to go ahead and start in strong because he's going to throw the gale out there. And I mean, they've got the griffins that are going to go first. So, uh, I think I'll keep it on strong and let the wizard go. Of course he goes last. Okay, he's definitely on leader. I probably should have waited a little bit more to go back to strong, but I'll get three attacks on him. It should be pretty good. And then I can go back to strong before the wizard goes. Okay, so now I should get two more hits with the octopus and take out the griffin. Alright. So, all together, told I wasn't too bad, and I can swap this guy back to the town and put my other octopus unit up. Let's pull another card. Temperance, that's good. I need some reputation. It's really just not that high right now. I mean, it's the start of the game, but I also, I haven't gotten any alignment bonuses. So, when I've been liberating, I don't think I've really been getting much of a reputation bonus. And a dragon ring, that's that's pretty good. I remember, at least in vanilla. I don't, I don't know that I got one last playthrough. So, let's take a look. Four strength, ten int, fourteen to fire. That's that's pretty good, especially if I've got somebody who's weak to fire. All right, let's give the dull mage another shot at the action here. This is a new enemy unit that I haven't fought yet. It's got a cleric and a Valkyrie in back, so it could do some pretty decent damage. But I'll risk that because I want to get the strongest possible acid hit off, and then I'll probably probably go back to strong after that. Okay, a little bit of luck there. And they're not hitting my Hellhound, which is not surprising, because it's got pretty good agility. Alright, so then we'll tank it up for the rest of the fight and see see how that goes. 
Although I might, I might switch back to weak if we can weaken one of them a little bit more to see if the wizard can take out one of the fighters. And probably the Hellhound will go first, so that shouldn't be... Or, or not. But still, it's a good first hit. It'll weaken up the unit without much of a cost of mine at all. I mean, considering I don't have a healer that took almost no damage, that's incredible. Alright, another naval battle versus the same Valkyrie unit. Now that I determined that the Valkyrie is on leader, I'll go ahead and equip the Relic Sword and, you know, kind of just go through the fighters with no real concern. Okay, completely wrong there. But I still should be good with Healer, and if she, yeah, the rest of the unit can't do me significant damage, so it'll, it'll work out. I guess it could have been on Strong. Well... Let's see, I think I will put on strong and see if we can figure that out. No, it must, I guess it was on best. Best or uh, maybe weak. But this is still going to work out for me. Because they just, they just can't do any damage besides the two bolts. Yeah, that's about as much as I've hit anybody for. Alright, so maybe you can turn her into something. I'm going to put the dragon ring on the golem for this fight, because I'm pretty sure that the Valkyrie is going to go right after him. Although I might be able to... no, doesn't look like it. Put on strong. I'm very close to level 4 here with the Amazons, so if I can just kill off one or two of these characters, I should be able to get a cleric, and that'll be incredible for this unit. Alright, there's a little bit of luck. And how often do you see a golem dodge a magical attack at level 4? Alright, the next unit is a wizard and two griffins. That's pretty bad because I've got my leader up front. All three of those guys can hit my leader, so even though it'll do less damage, I really feel compelled to move the leader back. Um, that'll make the physical attacks go to the golem. Hopefully the magical attacks will go to the golem too, because I've got the dragon ring on them, which gives him plus fire and plus intelligence, but I don't know. This guy, he might be on leader. Well, not a good start. At least I got one dodge back. Okay, so that's definitely good on the tanking side. And I don't really expect a golem to be able to hit griffins very well. It's probably, this, this unit just doesn't match up well uh, with the enemy unit. Yeah, they're they're gonna completely destroy me this time. I probably I probably should have just run away, but the the saving grace is at least I can divide the damage between the golem and take all the physical damage there and and tank it heavily. I left the relic sword on my octopus. I'm gonna fight this same griffin unit. Um, if I'm right that it's on leader, which I think I am, then it should work out, <clears throat> even with the octopus really weak to magic. Wow, 27 Gale. I guess he just doesn't get a movement penalty in the water since it's a flying unit. Okay, so he did go for the leader. That will probably give me the win here. And now I've got pretty much all the rest of the attacks. Except for one magic attack. Oh, missed changing the tactics. Oh well. It'll still work out. I'll just have to retreat a little bit and get some healing. Alright, the griffin and wizard unit just kept coming even though it's almost dead, so I'm gonna go ahead and take them out. I'm gonna leave it on strong because I think the griffin has a good chance of going first. Okay, I was wrong. Um, now I'll definitely go to weak and see if I can take the wizard. Okay, that worked out. Uh, and the griffin's done, so I'll just do the rest of the damage. Yeah, I'm a little surprised that the unit didn't flee and back to, to heal with the leader down at 14, but I guess not all the units are set up that way, or the, the level might take forever. Alright, I cut the enemy octopus unit on land, so this should really work out for me, particularly because this is one of my units that's further behind. It's all level 2, while the enemy is level 4 with the leader level 5, so I really want to get a little bit of damage in here. 
early on. Okay, that well that really worked out for me. Uh, I guess since all my guys have gone, I'll go to strong. Okay, so only one magic hit left. I guess I'll just go ahead and take it and see if I can kill. Uh, maybe maybe two more if I'm lucky. If I can, yeah, this is looking like I'll definitely get a level for most of these guys. And if I'm lucky, nope. Yeah, I guess that was the last anyway. It's as good as it could have gotten. Well, that that works out really well. I needed I really needed the level three. All right, I'm gonna have a water battle with two Valkyries on the enemy team, so went ahead and equipped the Dragon Ring, it's my highest plus ant item on the Octopus. Um, so I think, I think they're on best, but I'm not 100% sure of that. Well, Hawkman certainly can still do some damage. Yep, they're, they're definitely hitting him, so it's a good thing to equip. So, this will work out okay for me. It's still not the optimal way to Put this out. I really, I really should have intercepted this unit with uh, a unit that is strong to lightning. Like the golem seems to be pretty strong to lightning. Although, I mean, really, 17 isn't that much damage. It's gonna, it's gonna work out okay. Although at this point, nobody can hurt either team. But okay, the last two, well, one of the last two hits was pretty decent. Alright, the ninja units come back. I'm actually going to fight it this time, because I really don't want more than three ninjas, at least not at 30k. Um, so they can do lightning damage. I still have the dragon ring on, so I've got pretty good ants on the, the octopus. Uh, and in the water, they're probably not going to be all that great. Because they don't have that much ant compared to... yeah. Okay, so this is just not really going to be an issue. I'm just going to put it back to weak, because it's only got one more lightning attack. And maybe it can take one of them out. Certainly the knight is not any threat in the back. Well, I have to hit him. I guess that's the one... Well, that was a huge, huge increase in damage from... weak to strong... or strong to weak. I guess with the stacking penalties for... strong and... the movement speed penalty of being in the water, it probably has a much greater effect. But I think it's still worth switching, because it just did so much more damage. Right, the enemy octopus units come back up fully healed with the wizard, so this this could be interesting. I think I'm gonna go with strong just in case the wizard goes after my octopus. Yeah, I guess I could have given him the thunder sword to destroy the other octopus, but it's still working out pretty good here. I think I'm just gonna tank this up and try to try to heal this fight. So I really want to get the octopus back up to like, well, no, nah, it's uh, I mean, he's going to keep hitting heads. So it's not going to happen in this fight, but can at least prevent him from getting killed. And do substantially more damage to the octopus than stone to me. All right, this is my golem unit fighting a wizard. So I've equipped the dragon ring on the golem to give it plus ant and plus fire to make sure that I can tank the wizard's attack. And I'll have it on strong just to be conservative, but I, I think I'll be able to switch over to weaker leader, uh, as I really want to take out most of this unit and then send it packing uh, so it'll regenerate and I can kill it again for more XP. Yeah, 21, that's not bad at all. Uh, let's go with leader. So now if I can take out the wizard, I'll get probably a level for a couple characters and then send it packing uh, and get another level or two for another unit when it comes back. Went ahead and picked up Canopus, and now he gets to meet his old friend Gilbert. I put the three ninjas and then a random uh, throwaway original level two Amazon into his group. Uh, no matter, none of them have any XP, so they're all expendable in this fight. Um, but really, I just want to focus the ninjas on the wizard they don't have great ant, but they have the flexible magical attack, so they can target the cold weakness of the enemy beast man. 26 is not massive damage, but with 6 attacks, it'll be enough to kill them uh, if if I so choose. I kind of want to get uh, one of my Amazons that I'm actually using, who's not level 4, the level from the boss fight. So I think 
I think I will not actually kill him with this unit. Uh, and I don't really care if that Amazon dies. I'm not going to use her. Alright, I'll go ahead and retreat. And she didn't die anyway. So now I just need to figure out which unit has an Amazon in it that I need to level up. So I think it's... Aha. Yes. Okay. And that might be the next unit to get there anyway, actually. Let's see. That's also flying. We'll get there a second. And that unit also has... Oh, they're level 4. Alright, it should just work out. Alright, one more hit. That's a pretty massive hit, but then worms. Worms are massive, and shortly they shall be mine. Alright, another stage complete. No deaths.